Hello, I'm Asan and I just finished my PSLE and I'm going to be helping you for your PSLE in the upcoming years. I'm going to be helping you in mathematics because it seems to be the hardest subject among all the others. So let's go ahead and view the question here. Wait, no, there. Yeah, there. Now, um, in any question, the first thing you need to do is analyze it. So here we can see that there's a series of triangles. Um, the first thing um, you do when you see questions like this is to find out the pattern. So for example, in this one, every layer adds two more. Adds two more. So um, just to be safe, you should write the number uh, at the other side, um, at figure 4, since it has the most. So 1, 3, 5, 7. Okay, something like that. So let's see the first question. A. Fill in the table above. Um, so it says here to find out, the first thing we need to find out is the number of what triangles in figure 5. So, um, since it adds 2 um, in every layer and the number and the figure number is the number of layers there are. So figure 1 has 1 layer, figure 2 has 2 layers and so on. So which means that figure 5 has 5 layers. And in every figure, only one color changes. So for example, um, the number of white in figure 3 and 4 is the same as only the grey triangles change in number. So in the fifth layer of figure 5, there will be 5 plus 4, which is 9. So which means there are 9 white triangles on the fifth layer in figure 5. So which means the total in of white triangles in figure 5 is 9 plus 5 plus 1, which is 15. Now, to find out the grey triangles. As you can see for the white triangles, and I said earlier, um, some of it, some the number of white triangles doesn't change um, right after. So it's every two, then the number changes. For, for example, figure 1, 1, figure 2 is also 1. Only in figure 3 it changes, but figure 3 and figure 4 is the same. So now, grey triangles is 3, 3 and 10, so means figure 5 must also be 10 because the number of grey triangles does not change in figure 5. Now to find the total is very easy, you just have to add it up. 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. Um, you can actually see that the figure number times itself is also the total number of triangles there are. So figure 1 times 1, 1. Figure 2 times 2, 4, and so on. Now, second question, question B. Find the total number of grey and white triangles for figure 250. So, as I said earlier, the figure number times the figure number is equal to the total number of triangles. So, since it's figure 250, it will be 250 times 250, which is equal to... Anyway, um, this looks like a paper 2 question, so you should be allowed to use a calculator for it. Mm, calculator. So, 250 times 250 is equal to 62,500. So, that is the answer for question B, which is the total number of grey and white triangles. Now, question C. Wait, let me just label it. Now, question C. Find the percentage of grey triangles in figure 250. Now, if you see the graph properly, um... In an odd figure, the number of white triangles will be more than grey. And in the even figures, the number of grey will be more than the white triangles. So since um, 250 is an even number, it means that there is more grey than white. And also, um, in figure 2, um, there are two more grey triangles than white triangles, which is also the figure number. So, um, and that also applies for figure 4 if you see it properly. 10 minus 6 is also 4.
So to find out how many, so there in figure two hundred and fifty, there are two hundred and fifty more grey triangles than white. Okay, so now that you found, so now that you know the total number of triangles and how many more grey than white there is, um, you can find out how many grey there is. So first, you need to take sixty-two thousand and five hundred minus two hundred and fifty, which is equal to sixty-two thousand two hundred and fifty. Then you need to divide it by two to find out the number of white. So 31,125. That is the number of white triangles. And since there are 250 more grey than white, to find grey you just need to take 31,125 plus 250. Which is equal to 31,375. So that is the number of grey. So question C is to find the percentage of grey triangles. So you take the number of grey triangles, 31,375, over the total number of triangles, which is 62,500. Um, you take it times 100%. You use a calculator. But when using a calculator and doing this type of... Um, how do I say it? This type of equation, you do not type the percentage sign into the calculator. So, I'll show you what I mean. In a calculator, you do not press the percentage button. Okay, never mind. So, um, anyway, 31,375 over 62,500 times 100 percent but in, cal cal in a calculator don't put the percentage sign is equal to 50.2 percent and that's the answer for question c and that's how you do a patterns question so um if you think that uh this video helped you a lot leave a like and if you think that i could help you more with math um subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you will be so that you will get notified every time i post a new a new video and also comment down below some questions that you need help with and i'll try to answer it as fast as i can thank you see you next week bye